So now let's go into costume design. Mm. Murray. Hi, everybody. Um, tell us. Yes. Tell us about the whole process in terms of, first of all, going to Golden Globes and BAFTAs and, uh -huh. and all of this, and then and then what it was like at the Oscars on Sunday. Uh, I didn't go to the Golden Globes. I don't think Mary was nominated for Golden Globes. I think she was nominated for Critics' Choice. Uh. And she went to that. I didn't go to that. I stayed home with my kid. Um, just He's five. Does He's he five. need help anymore? No, he Can't does. He's not. <laughs> slow five. Um, <laughs> He's a slow five. In action, though, in action. <laughs> right? He's got it all up here, but, you know, if something happened, he can't really get to the... I'm fine. It's so great to hear an honest parent. Everyone's like, my kid's the best and the smartest, and he's ahead of everybody. It's like, mm, slow five. <laughs> that's, uh, what they said. that's what they called me growing up. Anyway. Uh, um, it's the name of our production company. <laughs> slow, slow five. five. <laughs> Uh, so the big one, well, we went to the Costume Designer Guild Awards, which was great, and she won. So, oh, And she nice. hasn't won in her uh, union ever. And she was nominated twice. Oh, wow. She was nominated for uh, Hail Caesar and La La Land, and so she finally won for La La Land, well, which was huge. great. By the way, both amazing costumes. Yes. Yeah, I mean, if you see the costumes in, I mean, that was that movie, was, I don't think I'm speaking for Mary here, but that it, she's, she's like, she designed... 12 different films in one film. So that was right. like a costume yeah. designer's boner right there. Right. Yeah. If she I did can a quote my wife. fantastic job. And, and, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And that, that wasn't easy too because you're doing all these different genres, but genres within a specific time period in the studio world. Right. That and are then sort of. Adhere to a color palette. Yeah. And, you know, yeah, so. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, all right, so, uh, so that, that was last week. It was great. And she got, got brought her whole crew there. And they don't time her speeches, so she thanked each one of her crew. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't get Chad Lode. I made Wait, the... she doesn't do everything herself? No. no. <laughs> How big of a crew does she have on a project like that? I don't know. There are two tables that came. Wow. So, yeah. I mean, and again, I'm a bit of a... I learned a lot because in the low-budget television I work, the wardrobe person just goes, buys shit at Target and returns right. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but she actually... Keep the receipt. Yeah, totally. Don't spill anything on yeah, it. Yeah, she actually has seamstresses. She and design, hand yeah. designs. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because people have gone over to, you know, doing it on their iPad and stuff, and she still mm -hmm. hand designs it, puts it on a black poster board or whatever mm -hmm. and presents it with fabric and, and all. It was really interesting. She's a very talented artist, man. I, I think if you can go, if you can Google her uh, sketches from La La Land, I think. Oh, wow. Because I think the Hollywood reporter did a big thing on that uh so then we went to the baftas which was great we always love it's awesome but, oh, first class to london fc baby hey. 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 right come on that's where i caught up on all the movies yeah. <laughs> in a live flat seat mm -hmm. oh um, man it's so nice it's to the just, greatest way to yeah. travel it is, especially after i toured doing a bunch of military tours doing stand-up in coach, coach. Mm -hmm. with four-hour layovers in ethiopia so the producer can save ten dollars <laughs> you oh, know God. so it was nice to it was nice to marry up. Uh, <laughs> I understand. So the Baptists were great. <laughs> the Baptists were awesome. Um, That's why I married a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's true. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, oh, so yes. anyway, Baptist. Sorry, we go to the Baptists. Stephen Fry. Excellent host. He was great. Mm -hmm. He was great. And what amazing... Who are you up against at the BAFTAs? Trump jokes. Hold on real quick. What okay. amazing <laughs> Trump jokes without saying Trump. And mm -hmm. they're, you know, they're going... I don't need to... They're going over similar shit over yeah. there already. Right, but exactly. I mean, the fucking president of the BAFTAs, this uptight British woman, had came out and opened, you know, just said a few words and had a Trump joke. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I, I saw her after that. I'm like, you're the first one with the Trump joke tonight. Way to go. And I high-fived her just to make a slick American. Trump 2017. <laughs> I didn't high five her. Did you um, clap for her? What? Did you clap for her? Were you wearing, were you wearing an American Eagle tie? Is that... <laughs> oh, it, no, no. It clashed with my camo vest. Yeah. <laughs> and did you have like a 40 ounce soda at the thing? <laughs> like one of those things that truckers <laughs> wear? <those Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, we're up against, Mary was up against uh, Jackie. Okay. Which, and then we're going, I'm rehashing re, uh, this. These are my opinions. They do not reflect my sure. wife's opinions mm -hmm. at all, which is bullshit. She's up against Jackie because mm -hmm. Jackie, there was no costume design. They replicated from pictures and right. film. So there's really no design in, involved in there. And, uh, but when we got into the BAFTAs, they sat us right up front. 
Mm-hmm. Like we're four rows back, and I'm like, Mary, I hope you I hope you learned your speech. <laughs> and then she got really nervous, and then Jackie ended up winning uh, uh, for that. And I tell you what, I mean, to be a, a sappy husband, I've been on television. I perform all the time. My heart was beating out of my chest wow. at the BAFTAs for of nerves. I'm like, I, what is this? Dunk, 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 dunk. And I think she was she was a little nervous too. She doesn't like to speak up. Mm-hmm. But uh, in classic Mary form, why I married her, they mentioned her name, and Mary goes, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. So, okay, so, we, so she lost against the woman for, uh, who designed Jackie. Mm. All right, so now the Oscars. So tell us about the Oscars. Well, the Oscars, first of all, what, I, what, was, what was your, like, you and your wife, your conversation, like, Going into it, was it what were you thinking? Like, ah, we don't stand a chance, or we're in the running, or what were you guys? What were you well, guys? Well, she, you know what? I mean, La La Land got a lot of love, and one of the theories is why it didn't win a few was because it got too much overexposure. Is one of the theories, mm-hmm. and I'll tell you what, the marketing team on La La Land was great. They right. marketed the hell out of it. Mary was at Q and A's four nights a week. Easily four nights a week with uh, Damien and Emma and Ryan and all those guys, oh, wow. and they all re- over LA, just all over LA, pushing the hell out, just of pushing it. the hell out of this uh-huh. movie. And I'm telling you, she was out four nights a week, easy. Mm-hmm. Um, and they really backed her to get the nomination and hopefully the win, which obviously didn't happen. Um, and on the red carpet this time, the, the, the handler was great. We made sure she got on ET, made sure she got on TBS and stuff like that. But it was really early. That was a drag. They put us on the red carpet really early this time, and it mm-hmm. was then we had three and a half hours to kill before the oh, wow. <laughs> before the award ceremony. Is there food at this thing? Yeah, thank God, right. thank God, there was food at it and a bar. Um, <laughs> that's, his mar- that's Murray's seventh mm-hmm. bar reference. Yeah. <laughs> It's called a runner. At an awards show. <laughs> it's called a runner. Um, it's my Matt Damon bit. Um, all right, here's, here's, here's what I thought was bogus and which was kind of uh, typical for the evening. Uh, Mary's award is, was the top of the second act right after the first commercial break. So when he came, when the, we were going to commercial or before the show started, the stage, uh, not stage, hand, stage manager came over and said, uh, by the way, I think stage hand is such a, I don't know. Stagehand is just like right. It's like, okay, go get my coffee. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Like, don't people, look me in the eye. Yeah, and people kept saying the stagehands ran up. They weren't stagehands. You know what I mean? Like, right. you know what I mean? So the stage manager came over and said, "Hey, you're top of the act from we're, vaudeville." The stagehands. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in the in the not the the pool as I would call it, but like that first tier right there. Mm-hmm. We had really good seats, and like they they were like, we're gonna move you guys down, to, and we're sitting next to the woman who designed um, Jackie. Mm. We're gonna move you guys down. To like, the th- and we got moved down to the third row. Me and my wife, and um, the woman who designed Jackie, and her friend who was with her. Um, so you know, they didn't move the other costume designers down. So we get down there. I'm like, again, I'm like, Mary, I hope you memorize your speech. <laughs> you know. And by the way, I was I was given Mary after the Baftas. I was given Mary a 50-50 win. And then we we're at the costume designers guild, and the head of the costume de- or former head of the costume designer guild pulled me aside and said, I made sure everybody voted for Mary. So make sure she has her speech. Oh wow! So that bumped me up. I gave her, oh, I gave her an eighty twenty, and mm-hmm. I wasn't telling Mary these numbers. Right. I gave her an eighty twenty in the thing. So, but I really thought she had a good. Really, shot. you think that was a good idea to tell her right before they announced? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> giving you eighty twenty, hun. Yeah. Poof. <laughs> yeah, I put five grand on you in Vegas. <laughs> uh, I got because like. So you're feeling pretty good about her chances. I, I was, and plus she'd yeah. been nominated before. Right. She's yes. she's in the top five of her field, mm-hmm. so. Those aren't specific numbers, but you know she's up sure. there. Uh, yeah, I really thought she. No, had it, a... it's actually very accurate. That's five. There's five. There's she is in the top yeah. five of her. Yeah, she's, <laughs> there's five. I wasn't that's... counting Jackie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> very hilarious. The woman is very nice. I apologize if she's listening. <laughs> um, yeah. So I mean, in the end, in it, from a TV production standpoint, as you guys know, you're getting moved to the front. We know something about these two. Yes. Right. We know it's mm-hmm. it's a toss up. So now my numbers are on here are going up. Mm-hmm. You know, because I was nervous for you, and I was sitting there going when they were leading into that category. I was like, "Shit, man!" Like, I I like I know I've been to your guys' house. I saw her Saturday at yoga, and I was like, "Good luck tomorrow." Right, right. You know? yeah. <laughs> I was like, it was like, and she had this big smile on her face. I was like, "Shit, man, she might fucking win." Like, yeah. this could be so cool. Yeah. Um. So I can't imagine. So you're anyway. You guys get moved to the front. We moved to the front, and apparently, and again, I haven't seen the uh, 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 telecast yet. Um, they didn't show her face this year. I know. 
it, which was bo- I, some people tweeted at me, which was totally bogus, man. I mean, I don't. That was a really shitty call on the director, in my opinion. Do you think it was a, a call, or do you think it was just that some camera wasn't in place? Or something? No, no. They, I'm trying to think. Was there? Yeah, there was a camera guy there. Oh, There's a camera wow. guy there. They, you know, because uh, in, throughout the production, you have. So it's not the stagehand's fault. No, it's not the stagehand. <laughs> Normally, it is. Yeah. Well, the camera guy was busy uh, stuffing the envelopes for best picture, <laughs> so he was busy. So you know, you have ten roaming cameras throughout there to sure. cover different mm-hmm. live shots and to get on everybody's face. And so mm-hmm. on the BAFTAs, you know, it was right there. And then I sat next to Linus, the direct, the uh, DP. So mm-hmm. I was all over England. Mm-hmm. Um, and that last time they did it, they were on her face. Although Mary seems to, she doesn't seem, she questions that. So I remember being on, but we could not mm-hmm. have been. But I thought that was bogus. I thought that was another yeah, shitty choice absolutely. by the director. Uh, and then they Generally, read, you like to have the nominees on camera. Right? Yeah, you know. yeah. I mean, you got a camera guy there. Right. You're paying them. Cut use them. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And my wife's kind of a babe. Get another yeah. good looking yeah. woman on the screen, will you? <laughs> Stay away from me. Nobody wants a 45 year old guy with braces on their t- fucking TV. <laughs> We'll save that for the plugs later. <laughs> I'm sure this is the conversations that are held in the booth, but through the director of the staff, I'm sure this is word for word was being said. Uh, so, uh, so they got the the two front runners in the front row, and the other three uh, costume designers up in the back balcony, and they read the name, and it's not the, any of the two front runners. It's Colleen Atwood, who was, all, that was in the back, who was in the back, yeah. Who they didn't even move her up. And it was... I, well, you maybe know, they should recheck that envelope too. Yeah, well, don't think that didn't <laughs> cross my mind. <laughs> because the thing, and again, the Colleen Atwood thing, I feel like it was like Pixar with Piper or Meryl Streep. It's just like I actually I called this one on the preview because I, I knew because I had seen Fantastic Beasts and uh-huh. I realized it was okay. Well, it's period plus fantasy plus design. It's the and Colleen Atwood. Those things all together. Yeah, Colleen Atwood shits yeah. and they nominate her. Yeah, it really is. And 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 again, in learning this from my wife, uh, more more people they vote for more fabric basically. Right. Like the more fabric you use, go go through the test of time. Um, Mary has a theory on why she didn't win, but I don't know if I should say that, so I'll tell you guys off air. Um, so, yeah, so Colleen Atwood is always doing because when Mary is up for True Grit, she did Alice in Wonderland, which won. Sure. Mm-hmm. So, you know, so that's the, the that's bigger, louder. The bi- yeah, and then, like, because talking to the sound design guys, yeah, you know, yeah. the, la- the more explosions you have, the, the more chance of winning you're going to get. Mm-hmm. So, right. it's really more of a that's really why Colleen Atwood wins a lot and gets some of that because that's her, that's what she does. So, it's all about volume and different ways of the work. And also, and I think... Yeah, which it goes against costume design. If you Mm -hmm. notice the costumes, you're doing it wrong. (laughs) You know, if you notice the editing, you're doing it wrong. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? I mean, the costumes can be fantastic, but if you're noticing it, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's always, they're just going for the big flashy one and not going for the subtlety. It's it's, It's like the problem I had with the animation. They're not rewarding the craft of animation. They're going for cute. They're not rewarding the craft of costume design. They're just going for big. And not that, look... Making the, geese, the the costumes for Fantastic Beasts, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of design. Colleen Atwood is good as what she does, but it's only they're only rewarding one aspect of something versus going and one costume design, one one she, type how of costume. Plus, she won? plus know, you can't tell you can't tell me which wasn't CG and which was costume in that movie. Yeah, I know, and 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 like this is where and and, and and to me, it's all part of the same sort of problem that the Oscars have been having for years. It, it goes to your point, Chris of. Why don't they put these lesser known movies on video on demand? Right. If you're trying yeah. to expand your audience, don't just say Colleen Atwood, Pixar, right. Meryl Streep, like the same right. fucking mm-hmm. five names mm-hmm. over and over. Get some new get some new blood in there. Yeah. And get and and like and, and like somebody like Mary who's been doing it for so long. And has done so many iconic films. Giant, yeah. like, you just said, I was like, catch me if you can. And I immediately flashed on the look of that movie. And yeah, I was like, right. Jesus, she's, more people should know who she is because they've watched all of her goddamn movies. All, all of her movies. I, I went on her IMDb page the other day to remember, remember her birthday. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God Mary doesn't listen to that. <laughs> She's too busy. She's right, too right. busy working to listen to By this. the way, it's the same night I'll be at Levity Live in Oxnard. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Um Yeah, man, I just went, I'm like, Mayor, man, you are leaving behind I like iconic films that are going to be talked about. When you're gone, nobody's going to remember my Rusty Cow album, but they're going to remember <laughs> your movies. You know, The Big Lebowski, Fargo, Catch Me If You yep. Can, True Grit. 
just ama- amazing. You have an album? <laughs> <laughs> Rusty Cow, you can get it on iTunes. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So how did we get off on that? What were we talking so, about? Anyway. Uh, so, anyway right. so calling out with one, mm-hmm. it was a little bit of a, a disappointment. But after after that fiasco, it was definitely like, well, maybe they fucked that up too. But mm-hmm. you know, I don't. I don't and how did how it was like like how was Mary like that night or the day after? How does she sort of like how was she dealing with that? Uh, I don't know if I want to speak to that because okay. that's Mary and she's a very very private person. Okay. Um, I was heartbroken. 